So what do you so what do you think of Amy Adams is Lois Lane? Uh, I was I was kind of just about to talk about that. I I, I don't like it. I'm I'm really not happy about it. Uh, yeah. Amy Adams is she is not a Lois Lane. She, no. She may have gotten a lot of awards for her role in uh, the Fighter, but just because uh, just because of that, it doesn't mean she's qualified to play Lois Lane. Um, the the front runners to play Lois Lane were Olivia Wilde and Eva Kudis. And Olivia Wilde would have been perfect for Lois Lane because, you know, obviously she's hot. Yeah. <laughs> and in the comic books, uh, Lois Lane is hot. She, yeah, especially in recent comics. And, uh, I, I think if uh, Olivia Wilde would have been casted as Lois Lane, she really could have captured that strong, uh, you know, independent, uh, strong woman. Yeah. That, you know, Lois Lane is often portrayed as in the comic books. But Amy Adams, she just seems like she would play a feminist Lois Lane. And uh, I'm not too into the, uh, the whole um, orange-haired Lois Lane. And uh, I don't know if she's going to change her hair to black. I hope I'm, so. I'm, I'm, I'm really not happy about um, Amy Adams playing Lois Lane. I mean, um, uh, she, she was in a, she, she had a role, a very small role for one episode in Smallville. Yeah, I was going to bring that up too. Yeah, and uh, she, she, she just doesn't seem like the type, the Lois Lane type. She just seems more like a Lana Lane type. Ah, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I just don't see Amy Adams, but you know. Uh, up to right now, I have no, um, I have no faith in Adam <laughs> playing Lois Lane, but, you know, I have to wait until I, I see her playing Lois Lane to be proven wrong, so I'm going to have to wait and see how she does it and if she succeeds or fails, but right now, um, I have low expectations of her portrayal of Lois Lane. Yeah, um, I wasn't too thrilled about it either. Um, for one, you know, of course she's she's got the orange hair. And, if, you know, Lois Lane's been a brunette in basically all of comics and, of course, in every basically live-action interpretation. Um, and I was a little bit puzzled that they would they would have picked someone who's already been in a Superman show um, when she was in Smallville for, in Season 1. Um, I think the episode was called Hunger. I'm not really sure. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, that one, that one. Yeah. Where she goes on a, on a hunger binge. Abs yeah, and then she, like, loses weight, but she has to eat people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, that I, I didn't. I don't. I don't know. That just uh, that just really, really surprised me, and I was just. I, I didn't. I didn't get. First of all, I don't see her. Not only. Not only. Not only with the, without the black hair, but also she doesn't seem like that kind of strong, but really, really like kind of spunky character. You know, and that's the one thing that Lois Lane has had for pretty much all of comics and you know Superman lore. She's been a very spunky. Yet very feminine and very strong character, and if if she just if Lo, if um Amy Adams just captures the relentless reporter reporter side of her, then she might be boring and just not a very interesting character or a very interest interesting romantic lead for Superman. And um, that's that's mainly what I want what I want to see out of her character. Just a very um, kind of how I, you know spunky is really the best word I can say. Kind of a, a secondary second part for Superman, um, and he, you know he's a very out there, very polite character, and I think making her the cynical character that we've seen recently definitely would have um, would play off well against Superman's constant goodness. Um, and I, I really think that if she just captures that, then we might have an actress here. But right now. With with what she's been in, I mean, she's she's kind of a diverse actress. She's done a lot of drama stuff, especially recently. Um, just aside from her comedy stuff that she's more well known for, but um, I think we're gonna have to see how she how she takes the Lois Lane character and brings her to screen before we can really jump to anything. Because one thing is that we don't know what what particular version they're going for. Like. Uh -huh. We'll just have to see how she, she portrays Lois Lane. If she, you know, yeah. she makes a good one or a bad one. It depends on us, the fans. And if there is a sequel, we'll see if she comes back or not. Yeah. Um, I think that... 
I think that um casting her might have also been a marketing ploy because she she is a very well known actress and uh for for the nineteen seventy eight Superman and kind of for Superman Returns and well for all the franchise of the Christopher Reeve movies, I don't think Margot Kidder was a very pop uh, famous actress before uh, she did Lois Lane. Um, so I'm almost wondering if they're trying to do it for marketing. Like, oh, Amy, come see Amy, Amy Adams playing Lois Lane, since they have a pretty much unknown lead as Superman. I kind of doubt if it was for a marketing thing, but they can't have Mila Kunis or Olivia Wilde, then it probably might have been for a marketing scheme, but Amy Adams is really not well known. Well, she is well known, but not like mainstream with like, you know, the MTV audience. No, but, you know, she... She probably, she, she probably might have or might have not. It all depends. But yeah, I actually would have liked to see a, an unknown actress play Lois Lane. That actually would have been a good choice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I wasn't really thinking of anyone in particular when I when I heard, when I was thinking of who who's going to play Lois Lane in the new movie. Um, I haven't really seen anyone in any movies that I've heard of that could really do a good Lois Lane. Um, I mean, I really can't think of anyone off the top of my head. So. I guess they kind of, I guess they just kind of went with um the best. I guess I guess they made the best choice they could. I mean, we'll never we'll never know until the movie comes out, um or unless of course we see her, a lot of her in the in the trailer. Right. Um. So I guess you want to jump over to uh, Michael Shannon Azad or. Uh, yeah. 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 Let's go. Um, let's go to him. At first, uh, I just to Amy Adams. I wasn't too hot about the idea of Michael Shannon. Playing General Zod. Before uh, Michael Shannon was confirmed, there were these reports that Viggo Mortensen was in negotiations to play uh, General Zod. And, Which would have been awesome. Viggo uh, Mortensen is the guy who plays uh, Strider in the Lord of the Rings movies. Uh, the guy who played who will eventually become the king in, in the third Lord of the Rings film. So the, 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 the guy who looks over uh, Frodo. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I thought he would have made a. a Yeah, absolutely. I, I could just imagine, I could just imagine Vico saying, "Do you before God?" And a very <laughs> low but menacing voice. Yeah. And then Michael Shannon is confirmed in my dreams of uh, <laughs> this uh, God that, that I imagine from Vico Mortensen has been shattered. Uh, I, I, I like Michael Shannon. Uh, I thought he was a terrific actor in The Runaways, and you well, know, he really captures that up. Uh, that guy villain uh, atmosphere, but you know whether he can take on a uh, a comic book villain, I don't know. But yeah. Now I'm, I'm starting to I'm starting to um be he, he probably was a good choice. Um, I, I recently saw an interview with him where he confirms that the um in one picture that someone took of a uh, Superman facing off with uh, some guy in a CG suit that that was him. Oh. And, and so, um, yeah, I, I think Michael Shannon can pull off a good song. I mean, at first I, I wasn't too hot about the idea, but now I'm slowly starting to see that he probably was a good choice. And he, he has a, a lot of motivation for the character, and he really wants to create his Zod, very different from Terrence Stamp's Zod. So um, I doubt we'll, really, well, I doubt we'll hear him say, Neil before Zod. Yeah, so do I. Um... I've, I've never heard of Michael Shannon before I heard he was cast as Zod, and I've never actually seen him in anything outside of, uh, you know, hearing that he's going to be in the Man of Steel. But, uh... Um, have you ever seen, uh, Kangaroo Jack? Yeah, I did. I have, actually have. Uh, he, he, he's, uh, he's the guy who plays, uh, I don't know if it's Christopher Walken's son. Oh, really? The guy who, yeah, it's the guy who travels to Australia to make sure that the, uh, Anthony, um, something and, uh... Jerry O'Connor are dead. Oh. Christopher Walken's second in command. Yeah, that was him when he was younger. Yeah. You know, just basing him off that, he he's a he pulls off a pretty menacing character. Yeah, 